Welcome to the Lone Wolf North American Bike Park Review Tour. My name is Andrew. And I'm Drew. This summer we're going to be hitting the road to not only review the trails at bike parks, but give you some of the best information on local spots to eat, lodging, camping, and activities to do off the mountain. So strap in, let's hit the road. Welcome to North Star at Tahoe. Just a short drive outside Reno where you can fly in or drive up from. North Star Tahoe is a beautiful mountain resort with an awesome bike park. Yeah, so we came out to check out the trails at North Star and uh, give you guys a full report on some of the activities, dining, um, off mountain fun, and uh, just the beautiful scenery that can be found in the Tahoe area. So when we arrived, we were really excited to check out the spot. We hadn't ridden North Star, gosh, I haven't been there for probably six years. And we'd been hearing about a lot of new trails that were getting built. And uh, they just had hosted a, a EWS right before we arrived and had the opportunity to ride the brand new track TNT, which was a blast. This is a bike park that uh, is known for its technical terrain. Uh, in terms of beginner terrain. And dry. Yeah. And dry terrain. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of beginner terrain, if you're a beginner rider, they have a fire road that you can take down. They have a green trail and then that's kind of about it. There isn't a ton of beginner terrain. Uh, to make up for that, they have a really good skills academy and they actually price that below the cost of a lift ticket. So you can get a lift, lesson, and bike rental for less than it would normally cost if you do that option. So we really recommend that for beginners because it is a pretty gnarly mountain. Yeah, it's definitely not very forgiving out there and uh, we saw a lot of people that could benefit from, from having a coach. So we, we suggest, you know, if you're going to bring the spouse up or some kids, or if you're a, you know, a couple that are new to riding, it's worth the investment. It's, it's actually cheaper than just buying a ticket and uh, you can get out there, learn some things, keep yourself safe and have fun going down the right trails because it can get gnarly really quick up there. Yeah, so with that said, let's talk about the trails in the bike park. So, in terms of flow terrain, uh, they have you know a couple flow trails. Uh, they have one jump trail called Livewire, which is their you know standout famous jump trail. And then aside from that, it is awesome face melting tech. Uh, this bike park is famous for its very very dusty conditions. Uh, the soil turns into absolute moon powder in the summer, and it's really fun to ride in. So it makes for some really unique terrain. <clears throat> yeah, we, we kind of coined a phrase. Uh, no friends at North Star because if you're out there riding with a group of people, everyone's so spaced out, you're pretty much riding alone. So um, it, it, be prepared to suck some dust or space out from the group because there's a lot of hidden rocks and stuff that you won't see once that silty powder starts floating in the air. Um, but that being said, we had a blast riding the tech trails, right? Um, TNT, which was the new EWS trail we mentioned, is a lot of fun. So it good. is steep loose, rocky, I mean, you're just straight up dirt surfing down these little gullies and it was a blast. Uh, River Sticks was another trail that was new and an absolute blast. Boondocks? And Boondocks is a great one for sure that we enjoyed. Um, you know, you had some fun riding live wire at, yep. while we were out hitting up Carpiel, right? So there's, there's a, a bit of a variety for riders. It's definitely geared, I think, towards the slightly more advanced riders. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good experience if you're looking for some steep, loose tech. The downside to the experience is trail maintenance and value. Yeah, so the bike park only has about four to five uh, employees that are working on maintenance, and they have really challenging conditions to work with. It does not rain in the summers up here in the Sierras, so it gets really dusty, and that really hurts them on a, a lot of the trails, I think. Um, Livewire in particular. Uh, is just filled with giant holes, breaking bumps. Uh, it, it really kind of takes away from your ability to carry speed and just the overall experience. So, but despite the fact that they've invested a lot of time and money irrigating yeah, that trail, yeah, I yeah. mean, so they, that's a fully irrigated trail. Yeah. They irrigate it twice a day uh, in the morning before the bike park opens and one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's just the taking the time to go and fill in all those holes that happen. Like their soil doesn't hold together all that well, so it does take a lot of maintenance to maintain. So, big bike then. I, yeah, I would probably say this is a big bike park. Um, yeah. And they have, you know, a good rental thing uh, as well, like a good rental facility. But yeah, just because of the really good advanced trains they have, the technical stuff, trails like TNT that will really challenge you, this is a park that you can go to with a downhill bike and have fun with and actually utilize that bike. Um, North Star Bike Park is also e-bike friendly yep. and they have a free pedal pass so you just sign a waiver and you can actually pedal up 
and they've got an uphill only trail and access the rest of the bike park um, on your e-bike. So uh, they'll also load it up on the lift if you want to take it out and do some riding that way. They've got some bigger loops, you know, that uh, will take you kind of out off the mountain so you're not just going straight down the hill, but really nice if you're, you know, into the e-bike thing and you want to go out and get some more miles. Yeah, and like you said, I would say, like, you really shortchange yourself if you just ride the mountain here because there is a lot of really good stuff off mountain if you have someone to talk to. There's also Truckee Bike Park, which is located just down the road. They have pump tracks, some dirt jump stuff. Um, so if you're into that, it's really cool to go and check that out as well. Yeah, and uh, the rest of the off-mountain activities include Lake Tahoe, yep. hiking, um, I mean, and uh, the town of Truckee, all the towns that are on the shore of the lake. And they have tons of dining options, um, activities, bars, nightlife. So those are worth checking out. What, what were some of your favorite spots that we went to? For breakfast, we went to the uh, general store and grocery store in the village. It was just easy. Uh, they had some decent breakfast stuff. Um, we also went to Rubicon Pizza for dinner up there. That was in the village as well. If you're willing to venture into Truckee, Jack's on the Tracks is phenomenal. Uh, it was on Food Network, actually. The meatloaf was mm, standout. Pumpkin yeah. spice uh, milkshake was so good. My, <laughs> so basic. My basic white girl came out with that one, but man, that was good. So yeah, there's some really good food in Truckee. It's a cool old like logging and mining town. It's just a fun place to hang out. Yeah, it was uh, definitely cool, and I, I guess I would say, based on the amount of time we traveled into Truckee versus what we spent in the village, our suggestion would not be to stay in the North Star Village area. We would definitely suggest looking at off-mountain lodging. Um, the value to quality was just not there. I mean, you know, we spent quite a bit of money on a place that was, you know, frankly not all that impressive, a little run down. Um, and once you're kind of up at North Star, there's not a ton going on, right? They've got a small little village, but it's it's far from uh, bustling in the evenings. And uh, Granted, we were there in like late fall. If we were there late fall. There's I, a lot more going on. Yeah, I've still yeah. never seen that place absolutely going off though. So yeah. I think you may want to look at, you know, something down on the lake or Truckee as the closest, best, and most affordable lodging options while you're in Tahoe. Now, if you're into camping, there is a lot of good camping up there. You can camp uh, up in the forest, like right above the area, you know, riding area. It's pretty close actually, so you can camp there and then drive in every day, maybe four minute drive, five minute if that, so. Yeah, tons of dispersed camping. Yeah, really cool dispersed camping. There's also established campgrounds as well if you want bathrooms and stuff like that, so. All right, well, so we got into, I think, a little bit of everything, right? Activities, definitely some rowdy trails. Yep. Um, what do you think? What, where does the park sit for you overall after, you know, full summer traveling? Yeah, so, you know, one of the things that really holds North Star back is the maintenance. And if you ask the locals, they, they know it too. Um, you know, this bike park, they, they struggle to maintain it because of the trail conditions and the, the lack of rain. So the bomb holes, the braking bumps, you know, places where people skid off the trail that are left like that, you know, and it kind of draws your eye that way. Little things like that kind of hold this bike park back. So it, in my opinion, I'd probably give it seven and a half. And okay. I really like this bike park. Like the, the tech stuff is so much fun. I would just love to see some better maintenance from it. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm probably right around that same mid, mid sevens, maybe a 7.5 as well. Um, I, I think the value, right, the ticket price is high. I think yeah, it's, it's uh, $65, yeah. which to put it in this perspective, uh, Whistler is seventy-one dollars Canadian, so that's like or 50, 51 U.S. fifty-four depending 54 on the US conversion. Dollars, so, so that's real close to Whistler price. It's higher than Whistler pricing, if I guess based on the conversion. But yeah, yeah it's uh, based on the mileage of trails, the maintenance of the trails, and the, the diversity and variety. It's um, not the best value. It does have a lot of fun trails, especially if you are looking for the rowdy, raw, steep downhill tracks. Um, we had a great time. We loved the riding there, but just based on the value perspective, you know, and the maintenance, it's it's hard to give it much more than a 7.5. We do see a lot of potential yeah. there. There's a lot of new trail building going on and we're excited to see where it goes. Um, but if you live in the area, Reno uh, or the Bay, you're visiting, you want to come through the Sierras, it's definitely worth a stop. Uh, just be prepared for a, a pretty expensive weekend if you're going to be, you know, staying in the area. All right, so those are our thoughts on North Star. Let us know what you think below in the comments. Keep in mind, we're reviewing way more bike parks than just this one, so be sure to check out our website and YouTube to see all those reviews of different bike parks. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the trails.